Scrapings and hallucinations. I'm a guy who never knows what he is saying, Ghosty Ghost, and welcome to Cotton Theater. With me tonight is my lovely assistant, Pink's Ghost Raven. Greetings, Crime Stoppers. And some homeless guy I found wandering the streets. Really, Master? Just kidding. It's just Igor. Greetings and salutations. So, what's the evil plan tonight, Igor? Excuse me, Master? Well, you do look a bit like Lex Luthor now, so what's your evil plan? Well, this is uncomfortable. Tell me about it. How about we just start tonight's show? Good idea. Please enjoy the first chapter of a classic serialized movie featuring the square-jawed G-Man himself, Dick Tracy, here on Shocking Theater. Increase the viewer <laughs> Oh, I hope we can, I hope we can. Hey, bro. What are you doing here? Oh, I thought I'd come and visit. Kids, something is missing from the lobby. Can you tell me what it is? No. Look closer. See what it is yet? No. Maybe this will help you. Have you figured it out yet? No. Well, I give up. Crime Stopper tip number 78. Don't trust children to find clues for you. They stink at it. The skull of Elvis is missing, Master. By Holmes, it is, Igor. You know what this means, don't you? Oh no, not again. The game is afoot, Igor. We've got a mystery to solve. I'll be right back. Jinx, come here. I need your help setting up my new face. I'll be back soon. Why don't we just get back to the movie? Good idea, mistress. Good idea. It has been two chapters of the Serial Mistress and one Superman cartoon. Where's the master? He's finishing getting ready, Igor. Do you think he's going to blame Colonel Mustard again? Probably. Should we tell him that the skull of Elvis is on the floor, just fell down and not really missing? No. It'll be more fun this way. Well, Igor, what do you think? I think he likes it. Good. Now to solve the mystery of the missing skull of Elvis. Igor, have you fingerprinted this place yet? I have, Master, but the only fingerprints on the counter are those of our rabid customers. There is nothing that can be linked to any single individual. Interesting. What about footprints, Igor? Have you tried looking for them? Well, as you can see, there are no footprints, Master customers have been rather polite and wiped their feet before entering. Ah, uh, that can mean only one thing. Let me guess, your arch nemesis Colonel Mustard is the culprit. Exactly, Igor. Colonel Mustard must be working with the moon people of Moon Valley. Right. Master? Yes, Igor? You do realize that the moon is uninhabited, right, Master? What's your point? There are no people on the moon, Master. Another of Colonel Mustard's lies, Igor. That's it. I quit. Good day. Wait, wait. W where are you going? I said good day. I think we should just go back to another chapter of Dick Tracy here on Shocking Theater. It's Igor and Jake Scott's favorite. And boy, do we have a...
What's going on, James? Good going. You finally managed to drive Igor away with your insane babbling about Colonel Mustard. I hope you are happy with yourself. I'm out of here. Will the skull of Elvis ever be found? Will Igor ever return to Shocking Theater? And will Jinx ever take her top off? Not a chance, Buster. Find out next week in Chapter 2, The Search for a New Assistant. Hey, the skull is on the floor, guys! Guys? <laughs>